Well, as Carrie mentioned, that fatal crash is interrupting morning commutes. Brooke Moore has just arrived on the scene there, and she is getting the latest developments for you. Brooke, what have you found? Holly, right now, officials tell us the motorcycle rider involved in this accident has died, and crews are on the scene here investigating. We are live on 70. Now, headed eastbound out this morning, they do have traffic down to just the far left lane. As you can see, not moving very quickly as a result of that. Now, I did speak to Lieutenant Matt Cleveland from the Springfield Post of Highway Patrol. He tells us around 345 this morning, they received reports of an accident here on 70 eastbound. When they arrived, the motorcycle rider uh, was already dead here on the scene. They tell us that the semi had actually been resting in the right side, uh, off the side of the road, actually, uh, for mechanical problems. And at that point, it tried, the driver tried to merge back onto the highway, and that is when they believe the motorcycle rider rear-ended the semi, causing the accident. So at this point, they are still here investigating. They tell us that the motorcycle rider was not wearing his helmet. They weren't able to give us uh, his name or age at this point either. Uh, but again, they tell us that the roadway is probably going to be blocked off. They hope to have it reopened within an hour, but of course, we'll be out here the rest of the morning. And we were able to speak to officials, and we'll hopefully let you hear from them coming up here in the next half hour. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News Today.